Conscience Guide Team 1.9 Bravo by Sheepdog and Shepherd. Oh, Shepherd, I'm waiting for your presentation with bated breath. Referencing the previous episode, 1.9 Alpha, the law code for this discussion is known as the Decalogue, as well as some other names. According to various accounts, the Decalogue was engraved on two stone tablets. However, while almost all depictions of the Decalogue employ variations of a shape resembling two loaves of bread placed side by side, nowhere in the original documents is the precise shape of the engraved stone tablets described. The Decalogue was originally delivered by a god through an intermediary to a people known as the children of Israel. The children of Israel avoided pronouncing the name of their God for fear that they would misuse the name of their God. The Decalogue shaped and defined the collective conscience of the children of Israel. Fidelity to their God and their relationship with their neighbor were hallmarks of this collective conscience. The collective health of the children of Israel depended upon faithful adherence to the Decalogue. Consequently, deviation from faithful adherence to the Decalogue resulted in disease of both man and animal, drought, defeat by their enemies, and in certain cases, even death. While some scholars opine that having a God and having a divinely instituted moral code is the result of a people thirsting for order in an otherwise chaotic existence. The Decalogue was inseparable from its divine benefactor and the beneficiary, that is, the community that it established. For that community, the Decalogue was life, health, and in short, a benediction. In the next episode, we will consider others who claim adherence to the Decalogue. I hope you join us. With special acknowledgement to our references consulted. Shepard and I thank you for watching today. We hope you subscribe and return for our presentations on matters pertaining to conscience. This episode was produced by Sheepdog, that's me, and Shepherd, a.k.a. M. Gilbert Steiner. <laughs>